welcome back to another PE video. We're in school today, uh, back in the hall, very cold. I'm going to get warmed up. Make sure you have a drink with you. If you don't have a drink, pause the video, grab a drink, and come back to the video. Right, our warm up. We're going to play a quick game called Follow the Leader. I'm going to be your leader, and you're going to be copying what I do throughout the whole warm up. Okay, so we're going to do different movements. You might be sitting on the floor, might be rolling about. But to start with, we're going to be doing some jogging on the spot. We're going to start in five seconds. Make sure you're ready. In five, four, three, two, one, and off we go. We're jogging on the spot. Easy stuff to start with. Take it nice and easy. Moving those legs out. Right, we're going to change to hopping on the spot. Choose either leg, it's up to you. Hopping on the spot, try and keep your balance, use your arms if you have to. Switch legs. Switch legs again. Switch legs one more time. You can hop around in the circle, let's see if you can hop around in the circle. And hop back the other way. Up around the circle and hop up the other way. Switch legs, we do the same thing. Hop around in the circle, hop back the other way. Good, we're going to jump now. So we're jumping, feet together, kangaroo jumps, use your arms, get some height to those jumps. Now, every so often I might shout freeze, and I like to freeze for the silly face. Freeze! And I'm back to jogging on the spot. And this time, instead of just jogging on the spot, we're going to get to high knees. We did this in the previous video. So back nice and straight. We go high knees. Ready? Three, two, one, high knees. Use your arms. Get those knees really high, nice and high. And we're going to get back to jogging on the spot. Keep going, it's tiring, it's warm, we're getting the heart rate up. Jog on the spot again. This time, hands by your bum. We're going to do some heel flips up again. Keep your hands straight back again. There you go. Freeze! Good, now we're going to do some star jumps. Three, two, one, go. Nice and big jumps. Get those arms and legs up. And out wide. Great. Right, some new stretches coming your way now. We're going to sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Stand up. And when you stand up, I'm going to see you do a little jump. Sit down. Stand up. And jump. Sit down. Stand up. And jump. Well done, everybody. That's your warm up all done with. Grab yourself a drink. A quick drink. We've got a minute to rest and we will get into our first activity. Right everybody, here we go, straight into our activity. Before we start, you will need either a soft ball that you've got lying around the house, it has to be soft because don't be breaking anything in your house, okay? Or if you don't have a soft ball, some of you might not. A couple of socks, roll up into the ball, will do the same job. Okay? So I'll give you some time to get your ball or socks. So pause the video, then come back with your socks or your ball on the start. Right, everybody. You should have your ball now with your socks, and we should be ready to go. The first game we're going to do, first activity, is 
a reaction game. So you're going to put your ball or your socks on the floor in front of you. You're going to be about a step away from the ball. Okay. And you're going to have your feet shoulder width of width apart. Nice and easy. Now, in P lessons before, we played these in pairs. It's a bit of a competitive game here. But also, we can't do that. If you're with a brother or sister, you might be able to uh, play this in pairs where you stand opposite each other with the ball in the middle. middle. But what we're going to do today is this. Feet shoulders apart, hands on your knees, and you're going to listen to me. So when I say heads, move your hands to your heads. Shoulders to your shoulders, knees to your knees. Whatever I say, you move your hands to. As soon as I say ball, I want you to stay on your feet, bend your knees, and grab your ball and put, put it in the air as quick as you can. Okay, now hopefully the more we do this, the quicker we'll be able to react when you say ball and hitting the ball. Are we ready? Make sure that ball is about a step away from you. Feet shoulders apart, hands on knees to start with. Here we go. Heads, toes, back, ears, head, nose, ears. Knees, back, feet, knees, ears, ball. Make sure you grab it quickly. If you've done that, well done. Put your hand in the air. So you know you've done that. Well done. That's your first round. So put the ball back down in the middle. Okay, brilliant stuff. We're going to do that again. Really concentrate on my voice. Here we go. Knees. Hips. A little hula. Head. Ears. Nose. Back. Bum. Head. Ears. Toes. Ankles, knees, back, ball. Well done. I reckon I might be a bit quicker that time for you. Also, I, I threw bum in there, didn't I? And uh, in the past, people have thought I've been saying ball, so I wonder if anybody went for the ball and I said bum. Right, this time we're going to face the opposite direction. This might be a bit tricky because I know we're doing it over a laptop or TV, but we'll give it a go, okay? So the ball's going to stay where it was, but this time we're going to be facing the opposite direction to the ball. So make sure we set that up. Hands on these to start with. And what we're going to do when I shout ball, we're going to do a big jump and grab the ball. Are we ready? Hands on knees, feet shoulders apart. Head. Toes. Back. Ears. Nose. Head. Bum. Ears. Shoulders. Toes. Ball. Well done, you've got it nice and quick there. Brilliant. Right, we're going to do one more little one, little challenge now, okay? I'm just going to spin my mat around first for this one. It's not lying on the floor. So, this is what we're going to do. Ball's going to be out in front of you. We're going to do a couple more actually. Ball out in front of you. Let's roll away. You're going to lie down on your belly, on your chest like this, okay? The ball's going to be in front of you, and we're going to say heads, shoulders, or back. If I say heads, you're going to go like this. If I say shoulders, you're going to go like this. If I say back, you're going to go like this. 
Your body shot full. You get a from it. Stop it. Here we go. Head. Shoulder. Back. Head. Back. Head. Shoulders. Back. Head. Ball. Should always stand up the ball. Very tricky that one. Tricky one that one, isn't it? Right. This time. We're going to be lying on our back with our head towards the ball. Okay? You can just lie down with your feet flat on the floor, your knees up in the air like that, or you can just lie legs straight. So we're ready. Same thing, so we're going to say head, we're doing this. Knees, get a sit up, put your knees. Shoulders, put your shoulders. And so on. Are we ready? Head. Knees. Shoulders. Knees. Shoulders. Knees. Head, shoulders, knees, head, shoulders, ball, spin around, grab the ball. Well done. Right, for our final activity, we're going to do some catching. Now, a lot of children, when they catch, they have some problems catching for their reason. And one of the main reasons is because when the ball goes in the air, they bring their hands together. And what happens? The ball goes through their hands. Something like this. And look at it silly. Now, adults do that too, as well. I've done that in the past. But one trick I found that really helps us to catch is that we have our hands connected when we catch. Obviously, we need them as big as possible as well. So what I like them to do is make the hands as big as possible like that, stretch your fingers out, and then bring your fingers in, you're gonna make two fists. Like in our own video we did a little punches, okay? Two fists like that, fingers to the roof. I want you then to just bring out your little fingers, your pinkies, and with your little fingers you're gonna cross them over just like that. Okay? Bring the rest of your fingers out. And you can now see that your hands are connected. So when that ball goes in the air, like this, my hands are connected, and it's not going to fall out, and my hands are in a cup shape as well. Then. So when we catch it, hands are connected into a cup shape, and then we'll bring the ball into our chest. Now, the most important thing about any catching is that you always watch the ball. So the ball goes up into your hands and into your chest with a nice hug. Okay, so we're going to do 10 practice catches. You're not throwing the ball super high, don't want to break any lights or anything like that. I want the ball to be thrown just above your head. Remember, we're going to watch it all the way up, all the way down into your hands and catch. Now, if you are struggling with uh, dropping the ball or you just need to practice a bit more, then pause the video, keep practicing. You can move on to maybe a challenge later on. Here we go. Ten catches. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I did one extra. No mind. So, 10 catches. Fairly simple. We're going to put a challenge to you now. So, 30 seconds challenge. Now, if you drop the ball, doesn't matter. We're going to see how many catches you can do in 30 seconds. 
So, are you ready? Five seconds to go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Count your head. How you can you do? Keep that technique going. Another 30 seconds isn't that long. Just gone over halfway. There we go, last few seconds and stop. Remember you scored, write it down, pause the video if you like. Continue to do another 30 seconds challenge, time yourself, see if you can beat that score. Okay. Right. We're going to make it slightly harder for this challenge now though. And what we're going to do is, if you drop the ball, you could be on 150 catches. If you drop the ball, unfortunately, the rule is now you have to go back down to zero. Okay. So make sure you're really concentrating on that ball. Again, you're counting your head and then you can write it down or whatever you want to do with your score. So, are you ready? Three, two, one, off we go. 30 seconds, try not to drop the ball. If you drop it, go back to zero. Halfway. Need that. And stop! I got to 24 there, didn't drop the ball. If you managed to get up through 30 seconds after dropping the ball, then excellent, really good stuff. Wonder how many people dropped it right at the end, might have ended up on a low score. Bit of pressure, it doesn't matter though. So again, you can keep practicing this, you can do this if you've got a bit of spare time at home as well, get the ball, practice a bit of catching. Right, last little thing we're going to finish with before we finish the video is we're going to do a little clap catch. So same thing, ball to go up, you're going to clap your hands, then catch the ball before it hits the floor. Now, make sure that your feet are still shoulder apart and you're watching that ball. If you're not watching the ball, you're not going to catch the ball. Remember our technique for catching as well. So here we go. We're going to do 10 practice ones now. It's really cold in here. So I think I might hurt my hands, but we'll give it a go. Here we go, 10 catches, off we go. Clap catches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, keep practicing it if you're struggling with it. Remember to watch that ball the whole time. I'm going to try and clap in line with where you want to catch it, which should be around waist height or near, near the chest, okay? Brilliant, now final little challenge for you, and this one you can keep practicing after the video, but you're gonna throw the ball in the air, maybe slightly higher this time, you're gonna see how many claps you can make before you catch the ball. Now if the ball hits the floor, it doesn't matter if you've done 100 claps, it doesn't count. So we'll do a, little, a few little practices, in the air. How many times can you clap? I think I did four there. Eh? See if you can beat four. Okay, so that is your challenge to finish with. Throw the ball in the air. Oh, two there, that was rubbish. Remember, if you bend your knees and catch the ball low down, you're more likely to get more claps in. I'm going to try one more to see if you can beat my final score. Five. Five is the score to beat. And that is the end of the video today. So, write down your final scores, keep them as a note. You can always go back to this video. They're on YouTube still, so you can go back to this video and challenge yourself even more. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, it's a bit different. Uh, we'll be doing some more skill videos uh, fairly soon, as well as more workout videos. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, bye.